Hi, this is your host, Pilm Bhatia. Welcome to the 2023 Prediction Series. We have with us today, once again, Rob Birchfield, co-founder and CEO of Rack and Rob. It's great to have you back on the show. It's a pleasure to be back. It's hard to believe it's been a year. Before I ask you to grab your crystal ball and share your predictions with our audience, just quickly remind us about Rack and what do you folks do? Rack and is an infrastructure as code software platform. So we help companies build end-to-end -end automation and workflows for any type of infrastructure across every type of system that they have to integrate. So literally helping them build the platforms that run their business. Now it's time for you to pick your crystal ball. I don't know, it's virtual, bare metal, or <laughs> a software-driven crystal ball. Pick your crystal ball and tell us what predictions you have for 2023. Uh, you know, no matter what type of crystal ball you have, it always comes back to people and process making the crystal ball work. It's your, it's your spiritual energy of it. Um, and, and I think that that's actually a lot of what we're seeing for the industry in 2023. Our predictions um, are that platform teams and platform engineering, which is this coalescing around a lot of the challenges of cloud native, but also where DevOps has been heading and site reliability engineering, that we're really seeing enterprises uh, sort of turn over this narrative of developer enablement and figure out that they have to do real work behind the scenes to make it happen. So, so we think platform engineering and the topics and discussions around platform engineering and the tooling that supports it, like what Rackn does, are really going to have a very good year in 2023. Um, aided by the idea that you know economic challenges mean that people need cost and governance and controls and and you know better use of the people they have. So, a lot of indicators driving towards platform engineering being a major topic in, in 2023. There's a couple of other things that we're tracking that I think are also interesting here. Um, one of them is actually on the hardware and infrastructure side. So for people who care about that, there is a um, software interconnect layer or computing interconnect layer that is getting a lot of attention where we've been taking systems taking next generation PCI bus and actually connecting systems together in a really converged way. And while that's a bit of a stretch at the moment, um, some of the work that we're seeing in that technology space is really exciting. So um, really some fascinating things coming out of the hardware side around being able to have much more um, distributed interconnected systems. And then also of course, ARM processors are making a tremendous amount of progress um, from that perspective. Um, and I, I think that those are things that while people who are dealing with a lot of cloud don't think about how much this can impact the industry, it, it really does change the industry. The other thing that we're, we're tracking here is the, the big vendors keep um, grinding through what they're doing, right? We're watching the VMware Broadcom acquisition, which we don't expect to have a lot of drama for people. Uh, but we're also seeing the big cloud providers uh, bumping into each other more and more. And I think what we're looking at seeing is more direct competition between the cloud providers. And then strangely enough, uh, that might also mean more collaboration between the cloud providers and, and more interconnect and more stories around those, those, those items. But for the most part, we're expecting steady sailing at the, at the cloud level. Thanks for sharing those predictions. If I ask you, what is going to be the focus for Rackin in 2023? Yeah, our, our course is very simple. We are diving in on the platform engineering side. Rackin has been building platform engineering tools for, for years now, and it's wonderful to have the industry coming around and saying, hey, we really do need help interconnecting systems and building uh, consistent infrastructure, doing dev enablement, dev process enablement, that also respects the operators and the infrastructure teams. So from our perspective, you know, this is really um, an awakening of the industry to the types of problems that we've been solving all along. And, and we're very excited about having those discussions, uh, really helping people see how to connect all the dots as they build these platform engineering uh, systems and, and really take on the challenge of, of creating you know, collaboration, because ultimately a lot of the platform engineering pieces are about collaboration. And, and so if you and I have talked about collaboration quite a bit uh, and infrastructure is code and, and how those things work. Um, but finally getting real collaboration in the enterprise across these teams and helping them be more efficient and productive, um, 
you know, that's, that's going to be really exciting to be a part of for next year. Excellent. Thank you. Um, talk a bit about what are the challenges that you see will be there in 2023, not only for RAC and the SOL, but for industry in general. One of the things that we see with the assumption of, of additional economic heart, uh, headwinds. So, you know, we definitely do see companies pulling back on hiring or changing tact, canceling projects, um, you know, sort of focusing on delivering the work they've got. Uh, the challenge of having people with the right skills, the right, enough time, doing some really hard projects and work is going to continue to be a challenge across the industry. So while we have a lot of people in the industry, some of the skills that we need to do the type of platform engineering, high scale automation, distributed control work, um, those are still very hard skills to get and find and retain in the industry. And so we continue to see that as being one of the things that, that people really struggle with. Um, because if, even if you can start a project and get executive buy-in to do the type of work that helps consolidate this, you also have to retain the talent to make it happen. Um, and in a shifting market, that can be very hard to do. Rob, once again, thank you so much for taking time out today and share these predictions with us. And as usual, I would look forward to talk to you again. And of course, uh, I didn't say it in the beginning, but we will be holding a you know, a scorecard next year to see how many of these predictions turn out to be true. <laughs> and so, uh, so no pressure, but uh, see you soon again. Thank you. I will stand by every word of it. Thanks, Swap. I'm looking forward to reviewing it next year.